I was an atheist, plain and simple. The summer after I graduated from college, I became very good friends with, uh, with a Catholic, and we ended up having a ton of conversations about, about God, about faith, and uh, as an atheist, you like to be able to dismiss the believer as, well, as being a moron, basically. That's, it's, 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 it's easy, um, but of course it's lazy. In this case, I couldn't do that. My friend was Phi Beta Kappa, magna cum laude, double major in psychology and classics. Uh, so I had to actually listen and consider what he, what he was saying. There was, a, there was a precision about how he talked about God and faith. It wasn't the, the vagaries that I think a lot of uh, atheists associate with with believers and so by the end of the summer I had lost my certainty that there was no God I became open so similarly to my uh, experience just after college it happened through a friendship I had a colleague who was uh, was a faithful Catholic uh, really impressive, uh, not just in his integrity, but also in being well-rounded. This was someone who, you know, was as at home in a museum as he was in a sports stadium. And so I found that very attractive. You know, in the end, as Christians, if something is humanly interesting, we should be interested in it. And he was. So really kind of compelling example. The next uh, kind of point of the drama was in 2004. So my friend, it was Good Friday was approaching, and my friend asked me whether I had any Good Friday plans. And I said, no, not really. And so he invited me on uh, a Way of the Cross walk uh, organized by the movement Community and Liberation. They do this all over the world. And in, the, and in New York, it starts off in Brooklyn and ends in Lower Manhattan. So you're doing Stations of the Cross, singing, hearing reflections, hearing scripture, uh, with the New York skyline around you, the river down below, with thousands of the faithful. That was extremely moving. And I, you know, New York is a very secular city, and yet all these people were kind of very visible on this, on this dramatic day. There were several things that happened on that day. Um, I, it was the first time where I recognized really, viscerally, what Christ had done for me. Uh, I think seeing the Passion of the Christ a few weeks before probably uh, brought that into, into sharp relief. But, you know, he was asking me a very clear question that day. He's like, I did this for you. What are you doing in your daily life for me? And I had a partial answer, but not a very, not a very, good one. So anyway, I, the day was over, my head was spinning, and I, there was uh, the, this conviction that I had to go somewhere for Easter. It didn't necessarily have to be Catholic, but I had to go somewhere. And so I had these friends who uh, had been talking about their parish for some time, and I thought, well, why don't I go there? So I went to the Easter Vigil Mass, and if you're going to go to a Mass at any point during the year, that's the one to go to, and I was just blown away by it, by the, 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 the power and the beauty of the liturgy. And I went back the next day, and at that point, started re I started revisiting all the reasons why I had been closed to the church. I wanted to have the closest possible relationship with the Lord, and I wanted to follow him in every aspect of my life. I had tried relying on myself. That never really turned out very well. So I thought, well, let's, uh, let's, let's try and rely on him for, for a change. And so I, there were things, you know, in, in the end, my conscience had been formed and informed by everything but the teaching of the church. And so I had very strong views about what the church had to say, particularly about you know questions of marriage and family, etc. My views were more reflective of just the modern culture. But in the end, there had to be a way that I could know, as a Christian in 2004, what are the teachings of Jesus Christ, 
and how do I follow them? What is he asking me to do right here, right now, as well as people that are around me? There has to be a way. Well, that way is his church. And so once it was very clear that this is the church of Jesus Christ, and if there's a point of disagreement between me and the church, the arrow is with me, not with the church. And so I'm the one that needs to conform, not the church. And everything just fell into place from there. And so I started uh, RCIA in the fall, uh, the Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults, basically a year-long um, time of, of discernment and formation and preparation for people who uh, want to become Catholic. I started that in the fall of 2004, and uh, at the Easter Vigil of 2005, I uh, was received into the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm.